Hello and welcome to Infinity. What is rasterizing? It's a term that appears in Affinity Photo uh, and uh, it's worth knowing about because it has very useful effects. So let's start off and we're going to draw a shape here. So we'll go to the rectangle tool here. Let's take the heart and draw a picture there. There's a nice pink heart and we can then move it around and play with it. And what we have here is a shape, a vector shape, which if you look up here, it says heart because the name of the shape as opposed to the background, which is a pixel. Pixels are made up of dots. Hearts and shapes are made up of um, vectors. You can also do these with the pen tool. So I can draw a shape like this and I can fill that up with you know, use the same color then shapes are useful because you can do all sorts of things as well as playing around with this. You can also maybe be able to go, where is it? There we go. Right click there on the pen tool and you've got the node tool lets you get to oops, corners and you, and you can stretch that and edges and so on. You can stretch this because the shapes of vectors are made up, are, are defined mathematically the curve here is actually a sum and this thing here again the curve is a sum so and, and even with shapes you can sort of play around with it bits like this so sometimes you want to be able to turn those into instead of a sums you want to make it into a just back into pixels and the way you're doing that is rasterizing so rasterizing is converting things to pixels so let's do an example with this let's start off and we'll make this small and we we'll see why in a moment. There's a little heart. And if we right click on it, we can then click on rasterize there to turn it into pixels. Or we can do over here, right click on the layer down to rasterize. Or we can left click on layer up here and there's rasterize there. You can also do a two step movement and turn it into a mask as well. So we click on that rasterize you, see, you might have seen a little bit of a change there but it pretty much not a lot changes about it unless you see when you turn zoom it into it and now we've got a great big heart and now you can see the pixels around the edges yes because this is now a pixel image you now whereas if we draw another heart in here if you like oops uh, There we go. Here's another heart, and that one's got smooth edges because this is now a shape. So you can see that says heart, and that one says pixels, and that, that one there, which we drew with the, the other one's called a curve. But it's all done with vectors and sums. Right, something else that we can do that's very useful with rasterizing is if we say got a picture like this, and I want to just have get my friends at the top here. So if I click on the crop tool, I rotate it a bit so I'll pretend they're going along a level thing and I zoom in and just grab the corner here and pull that right in and pull this down here there we go there yeah, I've got my friends in there etc so um, I apply that and uh, I look at that going ooh, me as my friend there I cropped her a little bit too soon I want to get her back again and the way I can do this is if I'm going to zoom out which you'll see in a moment because if I go to the crop tool here again I can now zoom out here even maybe zoom here a bit so in other words change this if I apply it you might think that I've, when I cropped before, I chopped that up and it's all gone, but it's not, it's actually there. So there you are, I've, it's put it back. So there she is, she's got this other chap, which maybe I don't want, so I can re-edit it and bring that in a bit and so on. So that's a handy thing that you can do. However, if we'd like to see it, let's go out again. If you go down here, to the perspective tool 
If you click on that, it shows you the shape of the original picture, which is still there. And uh, let's bring up the perspective dialog just so you can see it. However, if I wanted to do some perspective work here and maybe give this a little bit of a tweak to bring that up a bit, say, um, it's rather awkward because you, know, you get a zoom out and you can't really see the picture and it's a bit of a mess. So it's sometimes handy in things like ways like this. Says, I just want to get rid of that stuff around the outside. I'm happy with what I've got. And to do that, I rasterize. So I can go layer and rasterize. And there you are. It's cropped right in again. Now I can just use these and drag them about the place for my perspective work and so on, whatever I want to do to it. So there we go. That's useful stuff. And it is, uh, rasterizing is simply, one thing is turning shapes into a pixel layer. And the other thing is to chop off around the image and get rid of the stuff that's hanging around just in case you need it. Thank you very much for watching.